Hey there, in this video let's start recording using the media recorder class. So first let's create a class level variable and call it recorder. Private late init var recorder of type media recorder. Okay. Now in the start recording initialize it just here after checking for the permission rest recorder equals media recorder now let's add some attributes like the audio source the output format audio encoder and an output file to record to so just call the apply method in it and do all the calling here all set up here first of all let's set the audio resource with the audio set audio resource or audio source function give it a media recorder dot audio source dot mic okay then set the output format set output format and this one needs to be set to mpeg4 even so we want to save the file to mp3 format and you will see that we can't really set the mp3 as an output format see here output format and all we have is mpeg4 aac mpeg2 ogg other things so what we're gonna do is use the mpeg4 and then set the audio encoder to aac and after this we'd be able to save the file as mp3 file so let's do it set audio encoder and give it media recorder dot audio encoder dot aac now the last thing we need to set is the output file set output file and give it a path the path and the file name uh, should be saved into a variable so let's create them here private var first one is dear path it's an empty string the other one is file name same thing empty string now in the start recording here let's set the dear path so dear path set it to external cache directory and get the absolute path then add a slash here now for the file name i want it in the following format file name equals audio record or audio record and after this i want to have the date we don't have it yet so let's create it and format it so first create the simple date format and give it the pattern I want to have the year then the month and the day then hour minute seconds okay now create a date from this simple date format pattern and give it the actual date it's not form format okay now we have our file name so let's set the output file first the directory path then the file name and since we wanted to have the mp3 extension let's just add it here mp3 so with the output format set to mpeg4 and the audio encoder set to aac and the output file set to the mp3 extension we have an mp3 file so now we've set everything and we need to prepare the file and start recording so add a try catch statement here call the prepare function 
of the audio recorder or the media recorder and catch any error and just do nothing after this start recording now if I go ahead with this I should be able to record to a file but visually I wouldn't know if it has started or not yet unless I update the record button to display a pause image instead of a plain red circle so let's do it just here after the apply and start um, here button record set image resource and give it the ID of the drawable the pass drawable we created earlier and that's it uh, we should have a pause button set like this one also it would be amazing if I could pause it from this same button in this case let's add a boolean is a recording class level variable and initially set it to false also create is paused and set to false too now in the set click listener let's replace this by a when statement so when I click on the record button if it is paused then I should resume recording this function is not defined yet but we'll do it in a moment otherwise if it is not paused and it is recording then I should pause the recording so if is recording then pause recorder otherwise it is not paused and not recording then I should start recording else just start recording and this one we have now remove this from here this line and define these two functions just here private function pause recorder and first thing we need to do is pause the recorder then set is pause to true and change the image resource so let's just copy this line and here instead of set it to IC paused let's set it to IC record okay now just copy this function paste it here and rename it to resume recorder and instead of pausing the recorder let's just resume it then set paused is false and the background or the resource image set it to I see pause okay resume recorder not recording here also in the start recording let's at the end of the function set is recording to true and is paused to false so let's run it start recording we have the pause button and if we click again resumes starts and resumes so you certainly notice that the timer is not changing and there is no wave form yet so the next step we will add yet another visual signal the timer to update this takes you according to the record duration with a start pause resume and reset options so see you in the next one